Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point, so you can listen to what you want, when you want, without breaking the bank. Raycon's mission is to prove that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound and essential smart tech listening features. You can get a pair and a spare, and still pay less than you would with some of those other, more big name tech brands out there. They offer buy now, pay later options. Right now, you can pay as low as 18 bucks at checkout. So go to buyraycon.com slash supermega today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash supermega to score 15% off. Well, it does it twice and then it goes. I haven't. I didn't. I've never watched it too much. I just know it as like a cultural thing, more so. So like, I never watched it. I didn't really get to be in tune with the song that much. It's just more like, uh, like if Family Guy used it, I'd be like, you know, yeah. It, it, I don't have a connection or nostalgia for the Price is Right. That is, that's it. The Price is Right. Okay. I do just because when I would stay home sick from school, that would be like the only thing on TV during the middle of the day. So I'd, I'd tune in, I'd watch it, and I would go giddy. Little Bill. I, well, I, Little Bill wasn't Mickey on TV. Mickey Mouse Playhouse. Mm-mm. Not in the middle of the day. I'd wake up bright and early if I wanted to see Little Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Little Bill, Roly Poly Oly. What, what, what were some other good classics? Franklin, uh, Arthur. Um, Arthur was the best, dude. Cyber Chase. I kind of liked when uh, Nick Jr. was over and they started playing like Hey Arnold or something like in the morning still. Do you ever have those like half days, right? Did you have, you had half days at school? Yeah, 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 yeah. You just get to go home. Throw some cartoons on the telly, right. you know? I, uh, I, I'm embarrassed to admit that I, I would wake up early sometimes, way older than I would, I'm going to admit to watch Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> It would come on sometimes, and I'd be like, hey, man, I can watch little Thomas, you know, why not? I mean, you want to start your day off right. Like, starting your day off with physical exercise, um, mental enrich- enrichment of some kind, I don't know. Uh, Which, for me, mental enrichment was watching Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, for me, that was, I guess, in middle, early, high, that would be me playing Halo 3 in the morning, which is sometimes I would set my alarm, like, an hour before... I would normally wake up just so I could play a little more. Damn. I'm just saying Halo 3 was the shit. Customizing your Spartan, having fun with everyone in the lobby. It was a good, good times. Good, good times. times. Good. And, you know, for some of you, your morning mental enrichment might be listening to this very podcast, the Super Mega Cast. Welcome, Yay. boys and girls. Um, uh, watching the Super Mega Cast, we, uh, we appreciate uh, the attention. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to say something else. Am I wrong? No, I, I, I love the attention. I yeah. appreciate it. It gets me all giddy. I'm Matthew Watson. I'm Ryan McGee. And this is... The Super Mega Cast. And you'll have to forgive me if I sound a bit stuffy. Uh, allergies are real bad this week. The The pollen is just... It's going nuts, man. This plant this plant sperm is just fucking getting all up in my nose and in my throat and just... <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this. the snorting, guys. It's... It's it's rough. It's rough. You we could get you some tissues if you need them. The pr- it's not. I don't have a runny nose. It's up in my nose. It's like it's real deep where all this is taking Just place. Pick it out. I can't. I can't even get my finger up as have high. Have you tried? As, no, I I can real quick. Let's see. Oh, it's way. It's no. no. It's deep, dude. Okay. I mean, if you forced a little bit, you think it some, could open up that passageway maybe a little bit. Maybe the pinky will. Ah, my like my brain physically won't let me put my finger any farther up my nose. Yeah. There's a point where like you you stick your finger up your nose and technically you could keep going, but your brain literally like just won't let you. It's like when you had to take the COVID test and they'd stick they'd stick that thing so deep up like up down your nose, whatever, which way you want to say it, but I'm like I could never physically do that myself. It sucks. Getting just a fucking big old thing up your nose. I love it. You Honestly, oh, oh, I was going to say the wor- the worst on. thing is a uh, a nasal endoscopy, but they have to stick a uh, just a tube with a camera mm. all the way up your nose, mm-hmm. down your throat, Shit. while you're awake. Sounds awful. It's not fun. Not Sounds fun worse is what Jim's doing right now. Our what Jim first, is, our friend yeah. Jim is doing a a subathon. Uh, you might know Jim as the person who runs our social media here on Super Mega. Uh, we know him 
as the bearded man in the office who likes to pinch our buns every now and then before he th- for encouragement he says but I, i'm not buying it no um i don't mind like yeah. I, I let it slide every time exactly but. i just wish that he wouldn't cover it up with like a small white lie i wish he would just be honest about it that's besides the point he's he's right now as we're currently recording this in the midst of a subathon let's see how how long he has cuz his subathon specifically um, is uh, survivor themed. Right. It's called the Survivor Subathon, where he has to spend the whole time outside. Yes, taking breaks, of course, to poop or shower. If he showers, he does add an hour onto the counter. Um, currently, now our boy is at ten hours and thirty three minutes. So peop- there's a hype train going. So people are that's ten hours and thirty three minutes remaining. Yeah, he started this, and it's and it's n- it's a little past noon. Today, so he started this at noon on Thursday, and now it's noon on Monday currently. And we gotta be there by two today. Yeah. Wait, did, did, is that the time the pizza party is? I don't. I don't think we ever publicly announced oh. what time it was. Let me. I, I need to. I need to ask. Do you mind if I call Jim and ask? Yeah, him give, the, give Jim a call. Okay. You know, I'll just be here listening and enjoying. I just, I just gotta figure out. You know. Yeah, it's it's important. We gotta figure out what time the pizza. And we get. He's gotta know what time to order the pizzas. Because if they're not there when we get there, I'll be pissed. No, of course. Come on, Jim. He's going to let me down. Don't let me down. You ever heard of the Beatles? I'm, oh. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. What if I call him and he picks up? Would you be pissed? No, I'd be elated because. I think you should be pissed at him. I think you should have to, you should have some choice words ready for if I call and he picks up. Okay. Why would he be screening your phone calls? Hmm? Why would he be screening your phone calls? What do you mean? If he picks up, then that means he's screening your phone calls. What? If he ignores your call but answers mine, it means he's screening your phone calls. Okay. Which means you should be pissed at him. Call has been forwarded to an automatic... Okay, he's screening my phone calls because he, he he let it ring and he hung up. Sounds like karma got the best of you, Matt Watson. Why? Trying to pin me against Jim. Trying to pin friend against friend. Get me mad. Why? Get me purposely mad at Jim for the benefit of you and your entertainment? I was saying... J- and now you're calling again a second time in a row only to be hung up on instantly. Doesn't feel good, does it? And this is what you wanted Jim to feel? Our employee and, fr- and, and, and friend... No, I'm sorry, but let's not get, let's not get, I think you, I think you need to at least give him 5,000 subs for that. Come on, man. 5,000 subs. Five. Five subs. Five subs. Okay, I'll give him five subs. And you have to be honest with why you're giving him those subs too. You have to tell him in chat. You know why? Because honesty is the best policy. Oh, and he's, he's, he's about to paint me right now on stream. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> is he really? Yeah, I just heard him say we're going to sketch out Matt and he's putting paints down. <coughs> what should I say? What should I say? I'll say, hey, Jim. Hey, Jimbo. That's always good. That's I'm always donating good. five subs because Ryan tried to call you, but you didn't pick up. And I said, hey, if I call. Are you putting the hey in quotes yeah, so he knows? Hey, okay, if okay, I okay. call and he picks up. You should be mad mm-hmm. that he's screening your phone calls, and then you actually hung up on me, and then Ryan got mad that I tried to get him mad at you. I am sorry. I'm waiting for this chat okay, to pop up. There it up. is. I, I hope that it didn't automatically get like spam. No, filtered. no, I, I saw it right okay. here. No, now you got to donate the five subs. Well, all the top gifters got re uh, reset. So you're gonna be a top gifter. I will. I'll be number two. I'm gonna go ahead and just gift five subs. <sighs> Let's go ahead and give five subs to Jimbo. There we go. That puts him at. Around 11 hours now. Have I right? When he he adds the time. I'm getting an earful from everyone in the chat now. (laughs) Let's see see if Jim responds. 
All right. That's my favorite Hi, sound. Thank you for the gifted, brother. How you doing? See Peter on my grip and why still Good morning, dude. I'm about to Oh, it looks like Ben Beal just uh, arose Ooh. from his cave. I can hear Ben in the background. What's up, dude? I think I think the pizza party's at two. So we still have an hour and forty minutes before the pizza party. It is twelve twenty right now. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for the and you wanna explain the why why we're having this pizza party? Okay, so um I write in my wrongs just now, so I mean Yeah. Um two days of the or Friday night. Friday night, we yes, all Friday night. wanted uh, a huge collection of people. Uh, wanted to go support Jim Stream, a, a collection of his friends. All of our friends. You know, um, a total of eight people total were on stream, including Jim. You know, just a crowd uh, uh, supporting him, entertaining him, you know, using energy, getting kind of tired, spending hours just... Late at night, spending their Friday night having to go perform on stream yeah, being, for, just for their friend, with getting nothing in return. Not being paid for it by, you know, by no. any means, except for that Jim said that he would get pizza for everyone. Uh, the pizza finally arrives. Uh, at first, I, I just thought, like, it was someone else's order that he was grabbing, like, it was... Uh, he was gonna go put it inside or someone, or something. Um... Because it just looked like the order for like two people, you know what I mean? Yeah. What he what he was coming out with, grabbing from the pizza man, was a single extra large pizza. No sides, no dipping sauces, no sodas. Two liters. No, no or two otherwise. liters. No one liter. No. No nothing. Not just an extra large pizza. For eight people. How many slices are in a pizza? Probably like eight. Anywhere from eight to ten, depending on the cut, I'm guessing. But I'm gonna just say eight. This was eight slices. I saw it with my own eyes. So that's a slice for each individual. And now let's also add in the fact that that Matt and I we're in the top three donators in the first go around, in the first like forty eight or so plus hours. Matt and I have been, as well as others, have been very generous, you know, giving Jim a lot of subs and, and attention and free entertainment when we were performing on his stream. Exactly. And to only really think, like, he, he re like, in Jim's brain, he thought it was okay to get one pizza for a whole group of people, for a group of boys and girls... Hungry, devastated at the fact that they didn't get to eat earlier that day because they'd been busy, distracted. I didn't. I, I had been busy. Yeah. And Probably I, distracted. I was distracted. And, you know, distracted from eating. And I get there and <laughs> I'm excited because I, I know I, before I even get on stream, I hear, I hear these mumbles. I hear these rumors, the, the whispers through the grapevine of, oh, don't worry. Jim's ordering us pizza. And I'm like, hell yeah, we're going to have some pizza. One fucking slice per person. That you know what that's like. That's like when when they'd have a pizza party in your elementary school classroom, and they'd be like, everyone gets one slice. Oh yeah. There, there if there's a pizza party, I would say a minimum two slice limit. And this is the richest minimum. Jim's ever been. Yes. Think about that because he's getting all of these subs and donations right now. Oh, he has the money for an extra pizza. We're giving him all of this cash. What is it? What is it? What is it? Extra large? Like what? Another pizza would have cost what twenty two bucks maybe at most, at most. These are L A prices, guys. So you might be like, "What the fuck?" We're also Los talking Angeles. about pizza deals and the the place Jim ordered from. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, Jim could have even just gotten and like just a an additional, just a small. Yeah. If he if he wants to be stingy, he's like, "Well, I got this extra large, but here's another small. You guys can kind of pick through." Yeah, which is fine. Or you know, even if he had thrown on breadsticks, or, or even then, there I think there still would have at least need to be two pizzas. It's a group of people. Because breadsticks aren't everybody's cup of tea. No. You know? Um, so, to make up for it, Jim is hosting a pizza party at his place at 2 on stream. So, we will see if it, yeah. it's better. And it, at this point, it's already happened. By the time and this the podcast drops. By yeah. the time the podcast is out there. 
Yeah, by the time it's out, you, you could probably go back and and see the pizza party on on Jim's Twitch and yeah. see if if uh, you know, you could actually if he makes good, you know. I hope he does. Here's what I will say about about this this subathon was he thought he was going to be done on Saturday. He's like, I'm starting Thursday at noon, and you know, I'll, you know, I'll have to sleep out here in my backyard Thursday night and Friday night, and then I'll probably be done Saturday. And now it's Monday, uh, and he still has ten hours, and it would be a shame if you know. Some more people donated right when the when the timer gets low. But the thing is, the temperature starting yesterday starts. There's like a cold, big cold front moving through. It's been beautiful. Like since Jim started the stream, it's been beautiful sunny days. Nice day and and, and beautiful clear nights with a little bit of a breeze. And uh, he was gonna end his stream yesterday because the counter was at like two it was hours. At like two hours, yeah. Two hours and fifty something, forty something, whatever. Two hours something minutes. Matt and I were together at this time, and we felt bad that all this work, all this subathon work was going, and what, it was going to end so soon? Well, we fe I felt like it was so soon. A subathon, I, if, if it were up to me, Jim would be out there for weeks. Which, would, which is good for him. Yeah. You know, it also, it also builds character. And you know, is that Jim? Yes. Okay, hold pick on. Pick up, pick up. Hey, Jim. Okay, you're on speaker. Okay, uh, you you are as well. So touche. You're on the podcast right now, Jim. Yeah, how about that? How about that one for you? You're on the podcast. Yeah, Uno reverse card, bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm on the podcast and you're on the live stream. Yep. Yep. How's that sound? Sounds great, dude. What, what, so what'd you call me for? I just wanted to make sure uh, um, we're all set and uh, we have a specific time. Uh, that the pizza party. I just want to. Uh, what time is the pizza party? You know, that I, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm set for two. That's where you guys said you were gonna be here, but I'm willing to push till three if that works better for you. I mean, I think we should be done and wrapped on the podcast by two. I mean, by by two, or like we should be be able to get there. We should be able to get there by two. We should be able to get there at. You want to say two thirty? So two fifteen. Let's say two fifteen pizza party time. Two fifteen pizza party. Yep. Okay. Hey Stewie. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> she peed her on my Griffin to like Stewie. Doesn't even make sense, uh, yeah. dude. I'll order all the pizzas and stuff. There will be plenty of pizzas this time. I promise. Okay. I won't uh, make a mistake. The way you're saying it makes me feel like you're you're just gonna like order a bunch of pizzas that have like bullshit ingredients on them, and it's gonna be disgusting, and we're not gonna want to eat them. You know, Jim. Was, you read into my tone in a ridiculous way. I've I don't think that's ridiculous. I, I I think that that's you know Ryan. You know knows a lot about psychology and, and reading tones. You know people are very clear in their tones sometimes, and and I think the tone you said was very clear. Yeah. Listen, I've been outside for like five days now. By your own choice, Jim. I don't. Oh, I I'm sorry, Mister Moneybags, that you have to sit in your backyard. A little dry. Sorry. Sorry. Well, well, you better pep up for the pizza party. It's not a party. You know, it's a party for a reason, Jim. There'll be soda, too. How about that? Oh. Oh, yeah. Really? Well, Jim, I mean, I, I, I hope you know that, like, you're not, the, the soda, it's not like some crazy gift you're giving us. Like, that's expected after last time. Uh, like a two liter or some breadsticks. Some some dipping sticks. You know, it's a pizza party. Yeah, we, uh, Jim, we we I trust that you. Well, know I don't want to hold means. his hand and tell him. Yeah, exactly. He needs we don't to show baby us. Him. Yeah. I, don't baby me. I know what a pizza party is. I, I can do this. We got this. Okay. Okay. It, it won't be like last time. Okay. P beautiful. I'm I'm excited to see you later. Well, soon I guess. Is it Less warm enough for the pool? No, it is not warm enough. Uh, Matt asked if it's warm enough for the pool. It is not warm enough for the pool. All night. Mm. Well, maybe the sun will come out soon. You never know. It's poking through a little bit. I'm yeah. thinking it'll get a little bit warmer, but bring a jacket. Okay. Okay. I'll bring some swim trunks too, just in case. Just in case. Okay. okay. Bye. Love you. You know, Jim. So, so real quick, what we were saying was starting yesterday afternoon. The temperature in LA, I guess, a cold front is blowing in, and you know, this weekend the highs were like 92 in the, like, upper 80s, lower 90s, and then all of a sudden, like, starting yesterday through Wednesday, the highs are dropping down to the 50s, and it started just pouring last night. Rain wasn't even in the forecast. So maybe if Jim had actually ordered enough pizza, 
his friends wouldn't have felt the need to extend his stream by donating subs to make him redeem himself. Yeah. So maybe sleeping out in the rain is what he deserves for getting one pizza for eight people. And all I'm saying is maybe if Jim gave his friends a decent purse, uh, sorry, uh, pizza party the first time around. Or a purse. Or a purse. But mainly, I'm, I just want to say, main, if Jim originally did a good job with the pizza party the first time around, that his friends possibly wouldn't have got, you know, or his friends would have gotten together and they would have performed a sun dance instead of a rain dance. <laughs> so... <laughs> Just imagine yesterday you and me performing a secret rain dance so it would rain on Because it wasn't even in the forecast. There's no rain in the forecast. Even as it was raining, there was no rain in the forecast. So imagine that you and I got together, did a rain dance just to curse Jim's stream. Because he only ordered one pizza is so goddamn funny. Hey, but if the pizza, listen, if the pizza's good, if he, if he makes good on this pizza party, we might have to do a little sun dance. And I ain't talking the film festival, brother. Which I haven't been to. I'd I would like, like to go. go. Cool. Mm -hmm. Don't they have like six hours standing ovations? Why is that like, okay, it's like cool, the movie's good, but six hours? I don't know if it's six hours. I, there's definitely somewhere like a 30 minute standing ovation. I'm like, what? No. I feel like they go on that long because people continuously are coming up on stage that I do with the movie and like being like, thank you, thank you. So okay. everyone stays standing doing that maybe. I don't feel like they just stand up at the end of the credits and stand for 30 minutes, do you? I have no clue. Because I feel like even after one minute, you're just like, ah, my hands. Ah, okay. Speaking of my hands, they're looking a little soft. You know Why? Why? You, uh, I had like some joke in my head that was gonna lead into the ad reads, and it just I, completely I knew, just went poof. I thought I knew you were like doing a segue. Into it had some something ad reads. to do with manual labor and my hands being soft and ad reads, and I just I don't. Here they are. Here, here's the ad reads. Let's face it, with coffee starting at five bucks, yep, even without any customizations, don't. And our bank accounts somehow always depleting. We're officially entering a dupe session. Most products do the same thing, but are priced differently solely based on the brand name. So, a good duplicate, or dupe, is crucial for getting the highest quality at the best price. One dupe you definitely shouldn't sleep on, Raycon wireless earbuds. Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point, so you can listen to what you want, when you want, without breaking the bank. You know, with current inflation, recession worries, you want to try to spend as little money as possible, especially when it comes to tech, but you don't want to cheap out on it. That's why Raycon is great. Raycon's mission is to prove that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound and essential smart tech listening features. You can get a pair and a spare and still pay less than you would with some of those other, more big name tech brands out there. Raycon knows that in this economy, every purchase needs to be perfect. They offer buy now, pay later options. Right now, you can pay as low as 18 bucks at checkout. They have an easy and free return guarantee. They offer two years of product protection insurance for just a few bucks. And they offer free domestic shipping and flat fee international shipping. And get this, dude. They have over 50,000 five-star reviews. I have a pair of Raycon earbuds. And I, uh, you guys know I love music. I pop them in every afternoon when I go for my afternoon walk. And I listen to all sorts of fun music. And I'll tell you something. They sound amazing. There's several things I love about them besides just the sound. Uh, there's three customizable sound profiles. They have great earbud tap functions. The noise isolation is awesome. And there's custom gel tips for the perfect, most comfortable in-ear fit. So go to buyraycon.com slash supermega today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash supermega to score 15% off. B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash supermega. And we're back. Yep. Still a podcast. Still episode 346. All right. 346. This is one we can say the number because we know exactly because because we don't have a backlog at the moment so we know this is three forty six. We need to get that backlog up. I know. I on. know. We got to get that going. Prezzo was three four five. God bless Prezzo. God bless him. He's a sweet boy. I miss having him stay on my couch. Oh, Oxel and Hoover included, huh? God, it was it was really it was wonderful having Hoover, Oxel, and Prezzo all staying in in my living room. Blue Chew. Soju. Soju. I could write a song. Yeah, I, these things all Blue rhyme. Blue Chew and Soju. Blue Chew, Soju. The Hoove Dude. Hey. With the Estonian Noob. Dude. 
Dave brought the lube. Okay. David Prezzo. That's yeah. His name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My living room. Someone making toast. You know, it's a sign of having a stroke, right? No, no. No, Justin's Justin's toasting a sandwich. Okay, good. I think so. I think Justin. When we took a break for the ads, Justin Justin was in the kitchen toasting up a sandwich. Yeah, right. And he's rearranging the furniture again. I think that's his OCD, but um Yeah. Uh what's the what's the at of the person who made these again? Oh, I gotta remember. Uh her name is Ashley. Um for those uh oh, I know I know it. Her name's Ashley. I just Ashley Villanova, I believe. Yeah, Ashley Villanova made these. They're so, really fucking good. Sorry, I just got the, distracted. Look at this for the for the video watchers. If you if you look at this, uh, uh, a wonderful, adoring fan made these awesome things and sent them to us. Uh, so this right. Oh, oh hey, 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 Justin, Justin. <sighs> <sighs> Justin. Uh, Sorry, but you he needs to be editing. Um, yeah, he can't. He's, he's actually editing right this now. episode of the podcast. Uh, <sighs> yeah, Justin uh, is is this is Justin's first episode of the video podcast, I believe, right? First or second? Didn't he do? He might have done one. I thought he did beginning. like a one or a few or two or something. You know, I, I thought he remember. did. But but yeah, this is this is Justin's first. Uh, Maybe his first rodeo with the, I, I, he might have done one in the beginning. I, I thought he did one before. I think he well, he's done the, uh, the one audio two podcast. Before. I think. I thought he did a video podcast at one point. I don't too. freaking remember. But Justin is the guest editor of this episode of the podcast, guys. Yep. Um, I guess he had to sneak in a little bit. Uh, oh. You know, you know, Justin. And for those audio listeners wondering, what the heck just happened? Well, we did a visual gag. And I know we said that we wouldn't be doing visual gags as much, but boys will be boys. Now I got something for both. The visual and the audio listeners. First, mm -hmm. it's going to be for the visual listeners, which Justin can add a sound effect in so they'll get to experience it. And then uh, there's going to be something for the audio listeners specifically. And Justin, I'm going to tell you in secret after I do the bit what I want that to be. Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain. Justin, I want you to add a fart sound for the audio listeners after I neener neener. For the visual listeners. Okay. Nice. Yep. I got here. I can, I can do something just for the audio listeners. Okay. You know? Because uh, maybe uh, maybe we should just give the audio listeners something that isn't in the video version. You know? Yeah. Justin will have to remember when he exports the audio version to turn a single track on, unmute it, but then mute it for the video version. We could have a gunfight. Okay, yeah, Ryan and I are gonna have a gunfight now. Ready? Okay. Video, you know, vi vi video watchers, they got to see the gunfight, but they didn't get to hear it. Audio listeners, they got to hear the gunfight. Yep. But they didn't get to see it. Damn, well, actually, wait, but then... But it, it still works, because it's like, it's, it, you understand that it's a gunfight. You're not missing any context. True, true, true. And the visual listeners, it's not like they got to see, uh, they didn't get to see what our imaginations were unfolding. They have to do it, they have to put in some work themselves just like the audio listeners would to visualize certain things. But, so will but, the But visual weren't we supposed to just give like, they, the audio listeners shouldn't have to put in any work for, for this gag. They should just be able to just listen. Okay, how about without this? Without any imagination. How about this? Um... We're on a train. Hear those train noises? Oh my god. We are on a train right we now. We are on a train. Rolling down the tracks. Oh no, the train's about to explode. Uh-oh, it's gonna it's gonna slam into a, a, a wall with a tunnel painted on it. Ah! Okay. That's enough for the audio that's a, listeners. That's an audio listener bit, right? The, the, the classic uh, train crash? Train accident? Train mishap? And also... Mishap's a good word. Mishap is a great word. Some people might be wondering, okay, guys, what's the deal? Where's Luke? Where the, where the hell is Luke, the guy who normally edits Super Mega Cast? Well, uh, Luke recently uh, got a lead on some buried treasure that's in the jungles of uh, Guyana, I think is the name of the country. It's in, like, South America. It's yeah. near Colombia. Uh, it's where Jonestown actually 
happened. But yeah, Luke got a lead on some 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 buried gold in Guyana, so we gave him a, a couple weeks off to to go down and uh. Well, got- ri- originally, I mean, we got to be clear. Originally, the map he thought led to a kind of a very respectful, like a Native American burial ground, um, and he dug up. What well, was not treasure, but was another clue that led him to yeah. this next place. I know people aren't happy about him for the first part, but it is a it is a treasure hunt. Remind, uh, Indiana Jones and people are they, like you they, know they have to disrupt certain things. Yeah. Um, I, I think that you know, I you know I understand why people are mad about what Luke did. You know, he first of all, you're not allowed into that reservation. Like outsiders aren't allowed into that yeah, reservation. No. Unless you're part of the tribe. Well, the he specific, snuck in this specific burial site. It's a very sacred burial yeah. site. And and he, well, I think also people are mad because, like, he couldn't pinpoint exactly where the X was, so he dug up a bunch. Uh, and he <coughs> he dug up a lot of, um. He says all these, he said, he said, and I quote, all these symbols look like bloody X's to me. Yeah. Um, over the phone. So I guess that's when he just started digging. He, going yeah. Going crazy. Um, I... I don't. I don't really have any comment on that. No, I don't. I don't want to, you know, stoke any flames. But yeah. But but he, he did dig up another map. He's on his way to the real treasure. Hopefully, I don't know. They could be a uh, you know national treasuring this stuff. You I know, think he's going to find after gold. clue after clue. Um. But everyone, uh, wish Luke well in the comments. Maybe just give uh, wish Luke some some good luck for for digging up his bar- the, some buried gold in Guyana. Yep. Um. I hope he survives. I know the jungle's a tough place. The the, the it's kind of near the Amazon, I think. So yeah. it's well, I don't think it is specific technically the Amazon. What, but what I'm more excited about is for this mission of his to come to an end, to come to a conclusion, be done with, for him to come back and for him to start playing Pokemon Go with the boys. Oh, that's right. That's right because uh we had a phone call with him uh the other day. Um after he was, uh, so we pulled some strings. The tribal police let him go. Uh, had to pay a little money, a lot of money. Uh, but you know, after you know that, we were on the phone with him, and uh, we mentioned how me, McGee, and Lag, Justin, Justin, but Lag, yeah. Uh, Justin got us into Pokemon Go recently. Very, very back into Pokemon Go. Because if y'all remember, if y- you've been a, if you've been a fan since near the start, we first did our like when Pokemon Go first came out in 2016. Mm-hmm. We July 2016. Yeah, July 2016. We you know took part in it. We made two separate Pokemon Go videos actually on the channel. We did a video like the day it came out trying out Pokemon Go. <laughs> yep. So if you guys want to see some like old 2016 Super Mega only months after we started the channel, we have a video that's like trying out Pokemon Go. And then we have another video, which is one of my favorite just for the memory's sake. Same, same. One of the best memories. Where we travel to, this is just when it came out. So I'm sure it would be a lot better today because the app works like better and plus there's probably, there, there's a lot more Pokemon of course other than the first because when it first came out, it was just the first generation, this, I believe. Yeah, it was just the first 151. And, and this was like maybe two days after the game came out. We <laughs> yeah. just had this idea. We were like, we got to do it quick before someone else does. And other people did do it. Yeah. And they got big articles written up about them. Well, they like... We got a Kotaku did, article. Didn't he spoof it? Like he didn't actually go? No, well, one guy did go, but he, in the thumbnail, he put a Mewtwo. Oh, which yeah. Which he didn't actually catch. Cheating fraud. But we did it first. Yeah, we went to Area 51. We drove... Six and a half hours to Area 51. We went to the the very back gates of Area 51. And which I still is, have my Dratini that I caught at Area 51. Here, I'll I'll show y'all. Hold up. What we, good we, memories? We, yeah, but Justin ha- just got us back into the swing of things, and we are addicted as ever again. Especially since they've added so many. Oh wait, maybe Matt. we should do another Pokemon Go video. Dude, what? I had no idea that the that our Pokemon Go video has 1.7 million views. What? What about the Area 51 one? That's what I'm talking about. Wait, really? That's 1.7 million views. Jesus. I must have gotten a resurgence. All I'm saying is, I don't think it would be a bad idea to play to to play a little more Pokemon Go with the boys. Yeah, Make and an Luke, Luke on the phone, was we brought it up to him and Luke was saying, oh, maybe I should get back into Pokemon he Go. He should. So. Trying to get Jim into it. Uh, we all got to get into it, but maybe, um, you know. I'm trying to catch this... Uh, Forgot his name. 
What are you looking at? I'm just reading the comments, man. I got a chess bin. Let's uh, appraise it. Huh? Zero stars. Woo! Huh! Um, and then we also made the guys go to Nevada. That was a fun vlog. Yes. We just got to do more simple vlogs. Like, that was nothing special. It was just fun, though. It was just us doing shit. I feel like we get in our heads a lot, and we're like, we have to make a very specific It has to be super thing. high production. It has to be very specific. But, like, this is just filming ourselves going to Nevada. We threw some classic super mega edits in, some music. It's only two minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah. We got to get back to our OG vlogs, even if they're only less than three minutes, you know? Would people enjoy even... Look, the guys go to Hollywood, a classic. Two minutes, 15 seconds. Like... Those, that's a lot shorter than I even thought they were. The guys go camping. Two minutes, 45 seconds. The guys climb a mountain. Three minutes, 57 seconds. Some of our vlogs were short as fuck. They all were, Holy dude. Holy shit. Like, how long is our 7-Eleven vlog? Because it I started I, becoming longer with the Christmas tree videos, I'm guessing. Well, that's because they're na more narrative driven, but I, I yeah. feel like 7 Eleven, four minutes, 17 seconds. The guys go to the store, two minutes, 22 seconds. The guys, the boys get medieval, three minutes, 27 Isn't seconds. Isn't that back when the algorithm pushed shorter content at the time? And then a little after that, it started going up in about longer form with yeah. podcasts. But we don't need to, like, I think we don't. No, make, we don't. We're not, we're not trying to fight that. I'm just saying, like, at the time. I think we were. No, it didn't favor shorter things back then, though. That's why we had to do let's plays. Is that plays. why we were so fucked? That's yeah. why we had to do let's plays. And remember, that's why animation was killed. But I think that. It's a good thing I don't pay attention to it that much, as you can see. I don't know <laughs> shit about it. We've just been kind of doing what we want. Um, well, I think that we've kind of been discouraged from making vlogs because in our head we're like, oh, they got to be long. But like, they got to be like a thing. They got to be like a 10 minute thing. I think maybe people also liked them because they were just. Super easy to consume. It's just a quick two, three, four minutes. I'd be down to do another Pokemon Go vlog as an excuse to use business and company time to go play Pokemon Go let's somewhere. Let's do short vlogs, man. That Specifically that, Pokemon Go. Let's do Pokemon. Let's do another Pokemon Go video uh, half a decade later. To use business money and time. You mean to travel somewhere? We could return to Area 51. Five, half a decade later. All I'm saying is there is... Uh, there is one uh, vlog series that we still have yet to do a sequel of, and I feel like well, a, we se did. a sequel there would be... Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. You know? Hey, I just got my passport. Do you just tell me when? We can do it. It's becoming more doable. I've noticed, like, I haven't lost much weight, but I have noticed um, throughout the day the soreness in my back, the waning in that soreness feeling. I feel like that is from the extra weight that I have gained. Um, that's going down a little bit because I've been better about my diet recently. This pizza party is not going to be great. And of course, like whenever we go to gyms and fuck around, it's like whatever. But I've been eating like better at home. Dude. And stuff. Obvious answer. Just eat the pizza and throw it up. You ever thought of that? How do you? It's just a healthy way. Wanna, is there something I could drink that makes me throw up? Yeah, it's called Ipecac. Really? Or, I mean, you could also just drink, like, like Freon for, you know, your car or something and probably also would do the job. Or would burn through everything. Freon's cold. True. Okay. You know, that's what makes your AC cold, so it would actually freeze your stomach probably. But U-R-I-G-H-T. <laughs> Thanks. Exclamation point. Oh, thank you. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we should, we should, we should. Listen, Ryan, I have my passport now. Anytime you want to go to a certain country to shoot a certain series of vlogs, including a Pokemon Go one, you tell me, I, I will literally say yes. The only time I can't is a certain month July. this year when I'll... Oh, yeah, I said it on stream, yeah. I'm going on tour in July. Yeah. Other than that, dude, any month this year, I'm golden. I just think... I'm still upset about the fact that you you chose the same tour dates is meme. Dude, I didn't choose that. That's the booking agency and they, it's a competitive thing. I told them I didn't want to do that, but that was kind of my only I, I just thought we were friends so the co the the competitive nature of, of I the told them I didn't want to do the competitive nature. They booked it with and they didn't even consult me when they booked it. This is on real good touring. This is not on me. I'm sorry, dude. Your tickets are going to sell fine. Your ventriloquism act is is great, okay? And and I'm I'm sure you're going to sell more tickets than than I'm going to sell for my show. Thank you. It is a good act. It's a great act. Especially when he sings. It's, it's better than when I sing. I'll tell you that. You've been hiding those pipes from everyone for years. Maybe I could, uh, you know, uh, if we're going to be in the same area, I could, like, 
I could earn a, f- a few extra bonuses. Well, like, open? Oh, open? No. Uh, I just don't know if, if, like, I don't know if the touring company would, you know, it's like, there's, like, booking agent complications and, you know, stuff. It's like, it's not, it's not me. It's like, I would love that, personally, Ryan. It's just, you know, that, like, uh, there's a lot of, like, bureaucratic red tape when it comes to, like, booking venues yeah. and, and getting openers and, um, you know, Ben Beal is opening, so, you know, you'd have... Well, I could just open for one show. I mean, we we uh, I could come out. How about how about I just text? I could come out and um, f- uh, I could I could finish Resident Evil Four for everyone. How about I just like uh, I'll I'll send an email and we'll just see where it goes from there. To me? No, no, to the to, um touring company. I to just handle touring. all of my own stuff, so you can just you we can you can just. No, I'll just I'll I'll handle. It. I, I don't want you to have to do any work. I love it. Oh, it's fine, dude. I, I I'll, don't. I love the business. I do too. So I'll I'll take care of this. Okay. No so guarantee. A, they, so they might, I might. Well, they, they they might just say no. It has nothing to do with me. The ventri- Listen, dude. The puppetry, the ventriloquism, it's great stuff. Okay. And your tour is gonna go great. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. The hell are you doing? Nothing. What are you picking up off the ground? Nothing. Dude, are you picking something that was? Is it marijuana? No. I saw a little can of joints on the ground. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Oh wait, it's right here. I hit him with the circle game, guys. Here, punch me. Punch me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> You've probably heard by now that you should be using a VPN when you connect to the internet. But if you're like me, adding an extra step to anything you do every day just sounds like a hassle. Well, if you knew how easy it is to protect your connection with ExpressVPN, you'd be doing it already. ExpressVPN is the easiest way to browse safely, securely, and just better. ExpressVPN gets rid of all those things you hate about VPNs. It's a VPN done right. First of all, It's blazing fast. Lots of other VPNs slow your connection to the point where it's not even worth it to connect, but ExpressVPN doesn't lag or buffer. You can stream in HD with no issues. And using it couldn't be easier. Just open up the ExpressVPN app, click one button, and enjoy instant protection across all devices. The fact is, once you connect to ExpressVPN, you don't even realize you have it on. But your connection is secure, your data is encrypted, and you can spoof your location so you can have access to content available outside your region. And that's what I use it for, because I love using ExpressVPN. That's right, me, Ryan from Super Mega. I used to watch tons of content on streaming sites that I wouldn't get, you know, here in the States. I can watch stuff that that's localized to Japan or Australia. It's great. Right now, go to expressvpn.com slash supermega, and you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash supermega to get three extra months of ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN.com slash SuperMega. Yippee! Good money habits start with your very first paycheck. And if you just scored your first job, you've got an opportunity to jumpstart a healthy financial journey. When you sign up for Chime and link a qualifying direct deposit, you get access to benefits like getting paid up to two days early and fee-free overdraft up to $200. And with Chime, there's no monthly fees, no minimum balance, and no deposit required to become a member. I use a Chime checking account, and I love it. No monthly fees, no minimum balance, all that good stuff. It's so much better than all the big banks, and I'll tell you something. Chime makes me one happy boy. So sign up for a Chime checking account today to link your paycheck. It only takes two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com super. That's Chime.com super. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank North America or Stride Bank North America. Members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Spot me eligibility, requirements, and overdraft limits apply. See Chime.com slash spot me. Do you have to let it linger? You have to. Do you have to? Do you have to let it linger? I'm going to shoot you, you in the face with I'm this such you dodge out of the way and I'm serious. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You gotta dodge. You, you at do. Least. You, you gotta do this. You know. I guess that would have protected your. No, actually. Have. Do you mind just? Yeah, just fucking shoot me in the face, dude. No, not in the face. Cover your face as much as possible. Just tell me if you can even fucking feel it through the arms. I can feel it hit my 
my sweater sleeves. Yeah, but like you protected 100%. Yeah. Okay. That shit is, uh, it hurts when you get shot by it. Dude, yeah. that was a magic trick. You p popped your shirt and a joint literally popped out. <coughs> that was crazy, dude. Um, but you know I'm such a fool for you. I'm such a fool for you. You got me wrapped around your finger. Uh, do you have to let it linger? Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to let it linger? Such a good song, dude. It's beautiful. Is that Uncle Cracker? I don't know how you met me. I don't know why you can't turn around and say goodbye. Oh, you know all that. Mm, that's a good sign, dude. Watch this. Watch this. Ryan, how would you feel if I got you if I got tickets for us to see Uncle Cracker live? I'm like a fucking chimney over there. You're gonna set the smoke alarm off with those puffs. <sighs> Trying to dis disperse it, dude. That was that was a lot of fucking smoke. I know, I just, oh, oh. Yeah, open that door. Leave that door wide open. <laughs> Is it smoky over? Yeah, it's smoky over there, dude. You're gonna get me high. I gotta cover up my face so I don't get the I don't get the residuals. If I get high, I'll die. Why are you punching the air? Okay, <sighs> I see the smoke moving directly towards the smoke alarm. Look, that's thick smoke, dude. See shit. I do. I still see a big cloud of it. They don't. Yes, I do. -uh. Dude, I swear to God, if that smoke alarm goes off, Ryan, you are in so much fucking trouble. No, you are in so much trouble. Look, it's all aired out. <sighs> For the most part. And if I get high, I'm gonna be so fucking mad at you. <laughs> anyway, uh, how you been? <coughs> I've been all right. Just uh. Playing some Pokemon Go with my buddies. Every day. I play Pokemon Go every day. I play Pokemon Go. Do -do 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 -do. When I wake up, I get on my phone. I wanna catch them all. Such a good song, man. I heard that that kid's making, like, <coughs> real music now, man. Like, he's making, like, uh, what's his name? Misha, right? Yeah, dude. Let me see. If Backpack he's ma kid makes me ma makes music, doesn't he? Is that what his name was? Backpack kid. Yeah, dude. The Fortnite dance kid. Is that what Backpack kid was? He did the floss a lot. Uh, he says I'm looking at his. <laughs> dude, I don't know why. I go to his <laughs> channel. I go to his channel, and the four there's four videos recently titled Miami Bound, Miami Bound, Miami Bound, and Miami Bound. It's him in a hotel room. I guess he's Miami Bound. Does he make music? I don't know, does he? Uh, Inside Edition, meet the dancing backpack kid who stole Katy Perry's spotlight on SNL. What? I guess he was on SNL. Was he on it? Was he backpack was. kid on SNL? He was, when Katy Perry performed. <coughs> did he just do her thing? He, he just showed up and did, he just, I guess he just flossed. Like, next to her? Mm-hmm. Did he, did he, like, uh, did he popularize flossing? Maybe. Well, they're saying Backpack Kid teaches fans how to do his signature move. I don't think he, I, I don't think he created flossing. Though. I, he might have helped make it popular, but I, I don't. There, yeah, I don't think he. There's he didn't create it. There's no way. Wait, dude. TMZ posted Backpack Kid has a new dance called the Money Dance, and it's him. Uh, I don't even want to know what the Money Dance is, dude. Tell me what the Money Dance is. I want to know what the Money Dance. Hold is. on, Backpack Kid. Here's him producing. <coughs> Okay. Okay. A little sample. Okay. Okay. Let's make it. Hey, you know what? I'll give him. Uh, I'll give him. I'll give him credits. He's branching out. Producing. Exactly. You know, I can't. I can't hate on the backpack kid for trying something new. No. He, I mean, he's one. He's blocking out the haters. Remember that one? Oh yeah. 
That's what you got to do, man. You just got to block the haters out. The kid with spoons on his eyes? Is that from TikTok? Fine. Yeah. I'm too busy blocking out the haters. Come on. Come on. What no. do I have to do to get a shiny goddamn magic heart, Matt? Uh, what do I have to do? What do I have to physically do? I know what you have to do. You have to trade enough gifts. Who's with ben cock Beal. or pussy do I have to suck in yeah, politics to, to get Beals. this shit? What? You have to suck Ben Beal's cock. He's not in politics. But but Ben Beal has a shiny uh <laughs> Yeah, he has a shiny magic carp that he can trade you and he'll he's willing to give it to you. But the problem is you have to get your friendship level up super high. So you asked, what do I have to do? What you have to do is you have to you have to you have to get your friendship level up high enough with him so you can uh you can uh you can you can trade. He can give you that shiny magic carp. You know? You know, I bet audio listeners didn't even notice that Ryan walked out of the room during that conversation. I needed to. I I had a loogie in my mouth. I could have spit it in my hand. I could have put it in my pocket and thrown it away later. I don't, I don't want to cause too much trouble, you know? I get it. I get it. Yeah. Wow, yeah, you I mean you got me high just from puffing that weed. I know what you're talking about. You hotboxed me. Those were big fucking puffs, dude. Jealous? Very. It was it was actually cartoonish those smoke clouds coming out. You were just like <laughs> Well, cause I wasn't I wasn't inhaling. I was just like like storing it all in my mouth and blowing it out. It's uh what a lot of actors do that uh don't smoke cigarettes when they have to pretend to smoke a cigarette, they typically just won't inhale it. You can tell exactly what they're doing. They'll like do this whole number. They'll just blow the smoke out, but that's, as a kid, I, or someone who doesn't smoke, you probably just be like, whatever. I, yeah, they're smoking a cigarette. But as someone who smokes a cigarette, I'm like, you gotta get that in your lungs. Where's the buzz? You're not just smoking that to just some smoke out. You got me so high. <coughs> you got me fucked up. No, I didn't. Dude, um, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Why? Cause you got me high somehow with with those puffs of that was a lot of weed smoking. Dude, I was just chilling over here. How strong is that weed? Is that is that McGee strength weed? Yeah. Let me, let me see. Let me see. What's the what's the percentage of THC on that? Well, Matt, I'll 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 give you a hint. You can't you, dude? You you can't be hotboxing me up in here. Matt, can I give you a hint? Yeah. Is it above thirty? Can I? Uh, I want you to. I want you to take a random guess. What uh. What's Stizzy 40's premium? 40's? Is it 40% THC? 40% plus extra strength. Dude. No wonder I got so fucking blazed just sitting <coughs> next to you. That shit's in- that's crazy. Yeah. So, bad news, by the way. Bears? Great movie. They don't- Dude, Which it doesn't- it doesn't matter if it's legal in the state. YouTube will just age restrict and demonetize for weed. That wasn't weed. It was herbs. It was tea. It was tea. You know what? Uh, because in weed sports, they age-restricted and demonetized weed sports. Of course. But we still got, uh, they only did it around 500. They did it at 400-something thousand views. So luckily, we got a good amount of views. So normally YouTube, when we put, we do these big higher production videos, though that is what we're banking on to, to make a little cash to pay our employees yeah. and then when they age restrict them and demonetize them it's like well there you go making no money off that luckily we got to make a, we got to make a little bit and if you watch dude the views they were actually doing killer for us and then age restriction really just oh it kills the video completely because if you're not signed in you can't watch it it stops promoting it it stops promoting age restricted videos like actually like i, but I, I feel probably... like there has to be like because there's a lot of like how do how else do people get in these unhealthy political rabbit holes, whatever direction you want to say, unless YouTube puts them in that. Right? The fuck? Why did our Why did our oh, my fucking nose, dude? And the most the most recent uh or episode three forty four of the podcast got age restricted plus no ads. I'm going to appeal the age restriction. That's that's stupid. See, I'm looking at the weed sports view I'm just like view graph. So much mucus. You got you got allergies maybe? Not like I could go take one of them allergy tests where they stick you with needles filled. Dude, with those are the shit. worst. They're not like even needles really. It's just like a grid with like sharp things and they push it into your back so it gets under the skin a little bit. 
and then you have to sit. And if you're allergic to something, it starts itching. And then they look and they're like, oh, that's that one. There's this picture I saw. You probably saw it on Reddit. It was this guy who did it. His like, whole back. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like a jackpot. I'm allergic to everything. Water, sunlight. Isn't that a... Like, I mean, weed sports... Yeah, dude, look at the view drop. In the past 48 hours, it got 9,000 views. When in the first week, it got almost half a million. So, that sucks. <coughs> that sucks. Thank you, YouTube. That is why subbing to our Patreon is so epic, guys. And if you go to our Patreon right now, you can get this episode ad-free, but you can also get the Super Mega Cast After Hours, which is a whole extra segment of this podcast, yep. exclusively available on our Patreon. So if you want to see what happens after the cameras stop, you're going to have to go over the to cameras Patreon. Will, the cameras keep, well, the will, cameras keep going, but yeah, the they, video they roll. stops. You'll have to go to patreon.com slash supermega. I got blazed, dude. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Probably shouldn't have done that because I've I've, I've already been congested and I, f I feel like I've just been under the weather for the past week. <coughs> yeah, maybe it's weather change, allergies. Always when there's a significant weather change, I it takes me a bit to... I think it takes a lot of people to adapt, right? <laughs> goofs, just goofs your whole body. But that's right, patreon.com slash sumega. We got a lot of stuff on there, including our new show, Uncle Sleepover. Uh, which... And you can get a load of this over on the Patreon as well. I'll still be holding these up when the After Hours segment is here. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate all the support. We love you. Yep. You guys are the best. And um, hopefully, uh, everyone, don't forget to wish Luke good luck on his treasure expedition. Yes, that is important. Go wish Luke uh, good luck. Um, also, you know what? Go, go, go tell Justin you love him. Go tell Jim you love him. Go tell Luke you love him. Go, everyone, thank Justin for uh, for editing this episode. Exactly, especially Justin. Give show him a lot of love. That's right. But uh, thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you in the after hours if you if you paid for it and if you're a patron. I just want to say that yeah, right. those those middle fingers should be censored. By the way, Justin. Oh, oh yeah. On the after hours, they're not censored. No, you'll get to see him on uh, on the after hours. Just not here, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, guys. We love you. We'll see you next week. Toodles. Toodle. Bye. Man, it's always a slam dunk when I see Ryan and Matt. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>